Harry, first of all, welcome to Hibs. I bet today's felt a little bit like a roller coaster. <laughs> negotiations obviously going on for such a long period of time. Yeah, I was all right this morning and then it got into late afternoon and you can see that time's running out. And yeah, the last thing you want to do is get a flight back home and it falls through when you get this close. So I'm just, just happy it's all sorted now. Yeah, and, and what, what was it like then for, for you in that period? Because I think you made it pretty clear to, to the club and to everyone else that, that you wanted to be here. Were you having to push it through a little bit at your end as well? Um, yeah, a little bit. Like Swindon were great with me and, and they were understanding and there was, there was happy me to move on to the, to the next challenge. It was just, just about getting it all, all sorted so that both parties are happy and I'm glad we've done that in the end. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, I think there's there's been a lot of talk in the media about you and Hibernian and the club's interest in you for, for quite a period of time. When did you first learn about that interest and, and what was your initial reaction to it? Yeah, I first learned towards the end of last season, I'd say, maybe the start of summer. And I just wanted some time to think about it after the season and, and have some rest away and try and switch off from football for a few weeks and then... We came back and had a few conversations with people. I spoke to Guinea, who was in. He had nothing but good things to say and watched some bits, watched some of the games that have been on. And, and since then, I've just been excited and wanted to get out of the line. Yeah, obviously, there was a lot of interest in you from other clubs as, as well. What made this step and this club the right one for you to continue your career? Uh, it just seemed like the perfect next, next step after last season. and. The fans really interested me. We had a good fan base last year and, and and that got the best out of me and I think the bigger the occasion seems to be the better I normally do the majority of the time. So I'm excited to, to play in front of big crowds and I've seen videos of the, videos of the fans and they look brilliant. So it's, it's a big club and I'm just excited to get going now. Yeah, and Scottish football is obviously a very different challenge. You're looking forward to to embracing that, the physicality, the weather, the passion, the aggression. Yeah, football's football really, isn't it? Whoever scores the most goals wins, so I like scoring goals and if I can come here and score goals then I'll, I'll be happy. Yeah, I was going to say, obviously for, for fans that, that don't know much about you, just, just tell us about your style, your attributes. <laughs> yeah, I like to be entertaining, but the main thing I want to do is I want to, I want to affect games in a positive way by scoring goals, setting up goals. I kind of got the taste for that last season and it's, I'd say it's contagious, I want to carry on doing that and I want to give fans a reason why they go happy and, and they're entertained on a Saturday because no one wants to come and be bored so that's what I want to do. Yeah and you can play anywhere across the front three, is there a, a preferred role amongst those? Uh, not really, I think it'll, it'll probably just change throughout the season and I played in all three spells last season, I had good spells in all three of them so I think just just wherever really, I'll just float around and hopefully make stuff happen. Obviously you scored a lot of goals last year, had a really successful season with with Swindon. A lot of our supporters have seen your goals, your your celebration as well. Just just talk us through that celebration. Uh, celebration stuck for a while now. I never really had a, a trademark celebration and I've done that for two, three seasons now and I love it and hopefully you'll see a lot of it this season. Yeah, absolutely. And, and obviously you know Jake Doyle Hayes just, just tell us how, how you know him and about your relationship with him. Yeah, so I was with, I was with him when we were younger at, at Villa together and Jake's a great player, I know what he can do, he, he knows what I can do, so hopefully we can remember some of that link up and get it ticking as soon as possible. Yeah, how, how does that help, having him already here, a familiar face in the dressing room? Yeah, it's nice, I think that's, that's just one thing of, in football you, that, that you want to happen really, you want to move on and you want to come to a new club and, and try a new challenge and it's, it's a different city, different country and it'll be a lot of new faces but I've heard great things about all three of them really so that's one of the joys of football. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned the supporters a little bit earlier on. They've, they've been waiting for, for the news of your announcement <laughs> all day. Just tell us how excited you are to actually play in front of them. Yeah, I can't wait. I just... I love playing football and I love playing football in front of big crowds and it looks like we get big crowds. I watched the derby the other week and 
the atmosphere was electric. I was sat at home thinking, I, I want to be playing in this now, so hopefully get the chance to soon and looking forward to playing in front of them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Harry, good luck at Hibs. Cheers.